Welcome to lesson number 5, Crystals and Amorphous Solids. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button for you to get notified with the latest and video. Learning Competency Describe the difference in the structure of crystalline and amorphous solids. Our learning objectives are State the definition of crystalline and amorphous solids Describe the structure of crystalline and amorphous solid And lastly, differentiate the crystalline and amorphous solids What are the things that you need to know? How would you define crystalline and amorphous solids? What is the difference between crystalline and amorphous solids? And in what way is crystalline and amorphous solids deeper to one another? So what are crystalline and amorphous solids? Crystalline and amorphous solids are two states that describe typical solids in chemistry. Using X-ray diffraction experiments, the structures of solids can be categorized into crystalline or amorphous or simply known as non-crystalline or non-crystals. Using magnifying glass, we cannot even see or identify whether it is crystal or an, or an amorphous solid. So we need to use diffraction x-ray in order to see the arrangement of crystals inside the material. Solids are among the state of matter, which also include liquids and gases. They are characterized by a rigid structure of molecules, ions, and atoms arranged in an orderly and non-orderly manner. This orderly and non-orderly manner of arrangement have led to the categorization as amorphous and crystalline. So, what is crystalline? When we say crystalline, it's a solid that in which the constituent particles are orderly arranged in three-dimensional pattern called the crystal lattice with uniform intermolecular forces and the particles intersect at an angles characteristic of crystals. So as you can see, this is an example of crystal lattice. So we have cubic body centered cubic face centered and hexagonal so examples of cubic body centered are iron vanadium rubidium and chromium for cubic face centered we have aluminum nickel silver copper and gold for hexagonal we have titanium zinc magnesium and cadmium so these are examples of crystals and the most expensive one is the diamond so what is amorphous? The word amorphous is derived from the Greek word omorphe, which means shapeless. This is the shapeless disordered and irregular arrangement of the constituent particles of a solid. Their intermolecular forces are not the same, nor are the distance between the particles. When cleaved, amorphous solids yield fragments or curved surfaces because of irregular geometric shapes. So these are examples of amorphous solids. So all dense colloids or emulsions are amorphous solids. So we have mayonnaise as an example of colloids. Your favorite maha blanca or your favorite native cakes are examples of colloids. We have biological tissues, glass, silicon panels, bulk metallic glass, sun, fault gauge, grain, and styrofoam or foam. But what is the main difference between amorphous and crystalline solids? So let's have amorphous. A regular pattern of ions, molecules, or atoms in a solid were observed. 
while crystalline, they have regular and repeating arrangement of components in a solid. Melt over a range of a temperature, have sharp melting point for crystalline, no definite heat fusion for amorphous, definite heat fusion for crystalline. Examples include glass for amorphous. Examples include diamond for crystalline. It's called isotrophic, while the other is called anisotrophic. So in the next slide, I will explain what is isotropic and anisotrophic. So by definition, anisotrophic or anisotrophy is the property of being dependent on the direction, while isotrophy is the property of being independent on the direction. When it comes to the properties, different properties in different directions, while in isotropy, similar properties in different directions, refractive index. Materials have more than one refractive index, while isotropy materials have a single refractive index. Examples, all crystals except cubic crystals, wood, and composite materials, while for isotropy, crystals with cubic symmetry and amorphous materials such as glasses. Let's have a drill. Name the following given solid as the crystalline or amorphous solid. Write your answer and the space provided before each number. Emerald. Crystalline or amorphous? Glass. Crystalline or amorphous? Snowflakes. Crystalline or amorphous? Plastic. Crystalline or amorphous? Talc. Crystalline or amorphous, rock salt, pumice, so this is a type of rock or pumice rock, sugar crystals, marble, alum, or the one we use as deodorant or tawas, limestone, and lastly we have ruby. Hope you understand the lesson for today. See you in the next lesson.